Hey, what up, y'all? Look, so I wanted to address the tweet I put out real quick. Uh, number one, I don't do trivia shit. I just want to bring the awareness and the accountability, right? Totally understand what she did was 100% out of bounds. Like I said, she a fucking bozo. But I don't really watch entertain that type of shit anyway, so none of that shit surprises me. Goofy niggas do what goofy niggas got to do to get shock value, to get their views. So on the real, this is what I think the actual solution is. Rather than post that bitch a hundred times to try to have bullshit debates about it and go in on her about the questions she asking Lisa Leslie, what's more effective is that we hold ourselves accountable. We look in the mirror and we ask ourselves how we perpetuating the same shit that she doing. So if you feel like she's trying to degrade or tear down niggas, then all I'm saying is for the niggas that degrade, kill, and tear down niggas for a living, which happen to be a lot of the niggas who complaining about it, then shit, y'all should look in the mirror and hold yourselves to the same level of accountability. Um, you can't kill a nigga, rob it. Like, this shit be blowing my mind, right? Y'all, y'all niggas never rap about how y'all killing other demographics. Y'all never rap about running down on them, how they pussy ass this, pussy ass that. Like, all y'all do is kill your actual reflection. And then you feel a way when Gail King is trying to degrade or diminish the value of her actual reflection. So my, this is my personal opinion, right? Before you point the finger at everybody else, before you have these long ass bullshit debates that ain't gonna change nothing, just look in the mirror and check yourself and ask yourself, what do you get paid for? And I tell you, like the irony of the whole thing is that y'all kill niggas for a living and then y'all get mad because white people don't give y'all an award for it. But, they say they kill niggas for a living. They don't really do that, though. Yeah, that's just, it's, it's all fucked up. And go, so, yeah. we got so many L's going on. You perpetuating a message to people who follow you and believe in you. You know a lot of... I mean, just being real, a lot of y'all soft. You ain't never bust your gun. You ain't sold no dope. You're not a gang member. None of that shit going on. So, number... Like, your biggest L is that you lying to yourself. You diminishing your own value. Then you diminish the value of your reflection. And then you lie to your mother motherfucking reflection. Like... Some of y'all are highly intelligent, right? But y'all don't share that with niggas. Y'all just sell them bullshit, and then on the back end, y'all be, you know, buying books, getting degrees, doing all this amazing shit, bettering your mind, but lying to the little niggas. And then you got the nerve to go in on a young lady, old lady, whatever the fuck you want to call her, who's trying to diminish Kobe legacy. So, again, my personal opinion is you niggas got to look in the mirror just as I do. Like, I'm saying, I done said nigga 10 times in this video. I got to look in the mirror. You got to do the same. Like, that shit sound good. But we don't believe you. You need more people. You kill <laughs> niggas for a living. That's what your career based off. You ain't never rapped about killing no other demographic but your own. You degrade and diminish them way worse than she do. And then the irony of it is you niggas be crying because white people don't give y'all awards for killing your own people. Make it make sense, bro. That's all I'm saying. Y'all niggas got them big platforms. Y'all big this, big that. Niggas really believe in y'all. Just either say you confused, you lost on the subject, and be quiet till you educated on it, or don't say shit at all. But some of you niggas literally be shooting yourself in the foot while you shooting at everybody else. Make that shit make sense, bro.